chick. I, I can help, help my mom you. plant the corn. Look at the baby chick. Alright, what comes next? Nah. Those are baby chicks. Yes. Yeah, so. I can't help my mm, mom. How do we spell mom? M. M. Uh huh. T. No, that's mine. Put mom right here. Mom. You don't need to erase it. Write the word mom. Miss Goose. Escribe la palabra. Miss Goose, I'm done. This is Stretch it out. Use your sounds. Okay. Hey, y'all. It is lunchtime. It is 10.50 right now. So, my kids go to recess at 11. I've got to be out at the playground with them at 11. But I ran to Subway to grab some lunch. And then one of the pre-K teachers was so sweet and brought me a Dr. Pepper. We were talking about it out at the playground. About how, you know, we want a Subway sandwich. But then we got to have, like, a drink from Sonic. Because it's just way better. And so, uh, she ended up getting all three of us a, a Dr. Pepper, so it was so sweet of her. So, this baby is probably going to be jumping around like crazy in my belly by the end of the day. But, it's totally fine. Um, we read The Tiny Seed by Eric Carle. And then we did, they added some footage. They made some flowers. So, I gave them all of the tools. You should just see my table right now. It's a hot mess. Um, but I kind of laid out a bunch of random supplies like straws, forks, toothpicks, beans, pipe cleaners, beads, yarn, you name it. And then they just used those supplies to make a flower. And so it was so cool. Some of them were getting so detailed with it, with the roots. And then some of them had to have the, the seed pod in the middle of their flower. And things that I didn't tell them to do. I didn't give them a single instruction. But they went with it, and they did so well. Um, and then you have the ones that, of course, just messed around and didn't get their work done at all. So, But when they come back, we're going to do um, our independent reading. And then we're going to do... Um, I'm going to put some... We're going to play like a mystery bag 3D shape game. So I'm going to put a bunch of 3D shapes in the bag. I've got some like small wooden ones that I think I'm going to use. Um, so we're gonna put those in a bag and then they're gonna be they're gonna have to feel it and tell me what they think it is and Then after that we're gonna use play-doh and toothpicks to make the shapes Because our team had planned to do um, pretzels and marshmallows like pretzel sticks and marshmallows, but Like you can't make a spear with that It'd be really hard to make a cone with that and so like we didn't really think that through very well, but it's totally fine so we are going to do um, Play-Doh and toothpicks instead because they can kind of form the Play-Doh to do the round shapes. So I'm going to scarf down my lunch since I have eight minutes left. <laughs> so the joy of being a teacher is your fast 30 minute lunches. So if you want to go get something, it takes up half your time. But that's okay. Um, I'm going to scarf down my food and then go grab my kids at recess and hang out with them for a bit. We've been doing... Um, trying to do some more like guided activities on the playground so we do like uh the big jump rope and have like two teachers spin it and they jump or we did um one of the teachers brought a kickball set and so we were teaching the kids how to play kickball and then um this morning they were playing london one of the other teachers had started the london bridges falling down game and so they were getting to do that so you forget how much kids don't really learn how to do anymore because like play groups aren't really a thing 
the way they used to be where families would get together with kids and let the kids play. But I need to stop talking and eat. So I will catch up with you later. Bye friends. It has a pointy spot. It has a pointy spot on one side. All right, good job. All right. What do you think it is? It's Peter. Well, now you looked at it. That's cheating. That's the bag. You can't, you have to say what it is before you pull it out. Um, Why do you think it's a sphere? Because it's round. Because it's around. All right, y'all, it is conference time. It is 1.17. So I've already got, um, I finished my virtual agendas. <clears throat> and then I also... Um, while they were doing some time on Dreambox, I finished my virtual agendas. Um, I finished my sub plans for Monday because my son has a doctor's appointment and I'm not going to be here. So I finished sub plans for that. So I'm just going to kind of get everything together, clean up this hot mess that is my table. I mean, y'all can already tell from like the two inches of space you see how bad it is. Um, But I'm going to try and clean that up and just get resituated and get things kind of ready for my sub on Monday and then I will probably catch up with you just for a quick minute after school Um, I do have a zoom today so I had a student that couldn't meet with me on Tuesday but I need to do her testing for the end of the year so I'm gonna meet with them today which Lord bless every teacher that has to do testing through zoom because it's enough to pull your hair out <laughs> Because these poor babies, they just can't sit in front of a screen for that long. And these tests are like super long. Like it takes me 30 minutes to do it in person. So I, it takes, yesterday I had one on Zoom. And it took me, I mean, 45 minutes to an hour to finish her testing. Um, just because they can't, like if they were here, I would give them the iPad and let them push the buttons. But I can't do that if they're at home. And so I have to sit there and click it all for them. It takes so much longer. But that's okay. So I have one Zoom after school today that I'm going to be doing. And then I will finally get to go home. I'm so glad it's Friday. I'm exhausted. These kids have been so good. I have four kids out today. And it feels like half my class is gone. Like <laughs> It's amazing the difference it makes when you just have like a few kids out. Because it feels like everybody's gone. Um, let's see. I hope you enjoyed the footage from today. We had so much fun learning about flowers and then plants. And we have, um, you saw in math, we reviewed 3D shapes. We played the what's in the bag game. And then after that, we did, um, Play-Doh and toothpicks to build their shapes. They loved it. And then they did, we had a little bit of time left before PE because they loved those other two games so much. So we were able to like kind of push them and spend a little bit more time on them. Um, and so they ended up doing Dreambox until we went to PE <clears throat> about 15 minutes. And that's about it. So I'm going to let you go. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and hope you enjoyed seeing everything that we do each day in our classroom. Um, it's a lot of fun for me and I love being able to share ideas and get ideas from other teachers that do the same. So as always, you're the best teacher for your littles. Like and subscribe if you love my channel and I'll catch up with you next time. Bye friends.